Hey everyone, Victor here from Mapster, and I'm just here today to talk a little about two mapping libraries that you've definitely heard of one of them, but you probably haven't heard of the other. And it's good if you're going to be a map developer to be aware of both of them and the differences between them, because they might come in handy for some of your development. So on the one hand, we have Mapbox, which is fairly well known, Mapbox GLJS, a great vector-based mapping API library that's created and maintained by Mapbox. And on the other hand, we have something called MapLibre, L-I-B-R-E, MapLibre, which is a sort of offshoot of Mapbox GLJS at a certain point in its history. Now, basically what happened uh, prior to 2020, prior to Mapbox GLJS version 2.0, Mapbox had an access token system, but it was possible to use Mapbox GLJS, the library, without using an access token. So you could still initialize a map and use a custom tile source, one that ran on your own servers, or even a completely blank map and just build features purely from geographic information. I did this on a couple maps, such as the Birdie Fire map uh, that I'll show up here, where we just built golf courses purely using polygons that we got from a provider. Now, with the 2020 change, Mapbox made it so that just in order to initialize a map in Mapbox GLJS, you had to have an access token from Mapbox, which means potential charges, especially for maps that are very high use. I don't have a problem with Mapbox charging for what they do. It's a great service, but in some cases you may want to avoid this. And Mapbox said it's fine to just keep using the old version of Mapbox. <clears throat> and so what MapLibre is, is people taking the last version of Mapbox that was completely open like that and maintaining it and keeping it up to date and kind of creating its own little website and own little repository so you can use it directly and not run into any issues with Mapbox ending support, things like that. So this is great if you're going to be using your own tile set, but you still want access to some of Mapbox's, Mapbox GLJS's features and the strength of that library. No other library really is as good at vector maps and handling all the vector data, in my opinion, as Mapbox. Uh, there might be some out there that I'm not aware of enough. If so, please let me know in the comments. But Mapbox to me is a bit of the king in this area. And so to have to use some kind of cobbled together solution to make leaflet work with your vector tile set can be a hassle. If you want to stay using Mapbox, but you don't want to have to use that access token, check out MapLibre. It's got lots of examples that kind of made it look just like Mapbox's site. Uh, and if you want to use some of the Mapbox services, you still can, such as geocoders. And for those, you'll need an access token. So this is just a video to let you know to check out MapLibre if you are working with vector tiles or you want to make a map with Mapbox, but you're trying to avoid using the access token. This is a legitimate way to do it. You won't get access to the newest stuff in Mapbox, all the stuff that came after 2.0, which might include 3D, uh, projections, the globe view, and some enhanced styling and some bug fixes and things like that. You'll miss out on those, but if those aren't requirements for you, MapLibre is a great choice. So hope this video was helpful and we'll see you again next time.